Hello everyone, welcome back to um, Search Creator YouTube channel. Okay, in the previous video, we will discuss about 2B question first for the model 1, the machine learning model question for solution. Okay, now we are going to discuss about discuss about 2, 3B questions. So, I will skip the uh, present time in the 3A question because of, uh, so due to, uh, it takes the time lots. So, that reason I am going to explain in depth in the upcoming video okay so now i am currently explaining the uh 3b question the question name is for the model 2 okay so this is the model 2 you don't misunderstanding the model 1 means it is a 3a 3b question so model 2 and the question name is explain continuous and discrete probability distribution okay this is the question name and the marks allocated is 8 marks for the problematic is it is a uh, 12 marks but this is a theoretical question that reason it is a uh, allocated is 8 marks and you can write the diagram is the 2 marks for the 2 marks and everything after everything you can this is the so it is a 6 marks okay so 6 mark for the discrete and uh, uh, continuous this the okay okay so this Continuous. Firstly, continue. Write the continuous step by means a point wise. Firstly, what is continuous? Continue all values within the specific intervals a comma b a comma b are equally likely continuous or infinite number of possible values. This is not a point. It is a cancel. Cancel this point. It is only one point. Okay. All values within the specific interval a comma b a comma b a comma b are equally likely continuous infinite number. Means it is not countable. Next, second point is uses probability density function PDF. So this is the uses of a probability density function. Second point and area under third point is area under PDF curve is equal to one. This is the third point and it is getting from the textbook uh, example. I give the real world example after this um, point wise explanation. So example a random time day, uh, random position of the line segment, a random point in a equal unit square and the next point you can write the symmetric about the mean and um, so next point is PDF is a constant with intervals and the next point is mean is equals to median is equals to mean mode this is the uh, uh, sixth point and the seventh point the last point is uniform flat distribution you can write this point must and must read flat distribution so you can write up to these points they give the three marks okay and also you can write the one example if you interested to write the real world example you can write the real world example is continuous probability distribution okay it is a deals with uncountable infinite outcome usually measuring something means height of the student the student heights could be uh, 167.4 centimeter uh, come on 167.4 to 42 centimeters like what we height is there now so it is not getting the exact number it is a point something like that okay so that number we can't uh, assumable means you can uh, not countable so that was uh, that is the uh, best example and also we can use curve instead of individual probability probability exact height is zero but we calculate probability with a range example height between 160 see, 160 centimeter and 160 70 centimeter 170 centimeters so between we use the not exactly tell we can use the one, 160 centimeter per persons or 170 centimeter per person like that we said so this is the best example of the continuous probability distribution and next discrete okay so you can write these three these points first point is all distinct finite outcomes are, have equally probability of occurring discrete limited set of countable outcomes it is a con countable I mean discrete is a countable uh, continuous is a uncountable okay and the third point is use probability mass function the continuous use pda probability density function but this is the density uses the probability mass function this is the third point and the fourth point sum of all probability is equal to one okay this is the fourth point and the example this is also getting the uh, textbook so example it is a textbook example example rolling a fair die flopping a fair coin drawing a card choosing a random day random day this is the 
fifth point and sixth point is equally probability for all outcomes okay so this is the i would give you one best example finally and next uh seventh point is finite and countable outcome set and for last one it is in uniformity across all values this is the last point you can write these points for them uh each one okay so first 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 topic is continuous okay so you can write up to eight points and second point is second topic is a discrete you can raise also up to eight points so they give, they give the up to six marks for for this six marks and for this expression is also six mark point wise six marks and diagram it is a getting the two marks okay so total eight marks and also if you interested uh, to write the extra if you have time to write the extra time you can write the uh, example this is the example continuous and also last one is discrete probability distribution example discrete uh distribution deals with countable outcomes i think you can count one by one means you can count what is the uh you see it is a countable like that so if you take the one uh, rolling dice it is a possible outcome is or uh, if you die uh, rolling the die is possible outcome means it is a getting one or two or three or four or five or six like that and each number is separate and distinct unique values uh, yeah, you can assign probability to each outcome like a p of Three is getting one by six. Okay, so like that, this is the example of the discrete discrete probability distribution. You can write this also if you want to uh, download this model question paper. If you not have, please check it out below description box. I will give the link in below description box. Please check it out and download it. Thank you for watching this video.